Well, good evening, buonasera. Welcome to this Ducati World SBK live show with me, Michael Hill. I'm sure like all of you that are tuning in around the world, we are missing the paddock of the World Superbike Championship and fingers crossed, very, very soon, we will be back racing. Over the next 30 to 40 minutes, I will be joined by six of the uh, top Ducati riders that are contesting this year's Motul FIM Superbike World Championship. So whether you're watching on the Aruba IT uh, or the Ducati Facebook pages, or whether you're watching on the Aruba IT YouTube or on World SBK, who are also uh, tweeting and following us live, you are very, very welcome. You too can be part of the show if you are enjoying what we're doing. Please send in your comments uh, on Facebook and we'll do our very best to include you in the show. Right then, so without uh, any further ado, let me bring into uh, this uh, World SBK live show our six riders, starting with a rider that's dialing in. We're not sure whether he's in Argentina or whether he's still in Italy. He can tell us that himself. Please welcome to the show, Leandro Mercado. Hi, um, hi, Michael. Hey, uh, Leandro, this is London calling. I feel like it's the Eurovision Song Contest. It's, uh, uh, how, are you, how are you, my friend? Are you well? I'm okay, I'm good. I'm uh, in Italy right now, in Imola, so everything is okay. Just, I miss the, the paddock too much. Yeah, of course. And you were meant, of course, to be taking part in the championship this year with Motor Corsa. And, uh, of course, you missed the first round. You weren't planning to do the first round. And now you're having to wait even longer. So uh, how, how was it when the news broke that you weren't able to take part for a little while longer? Yes. Uh, you know, I, uh, we decided in, in the beginning of the year to, to don't make the, the first race in Australia. So... You know, of this situation, of course, uh, I have to wait more. I miss a lot of racing because the last race for me was the Qatar last year. So I can't wait to, to, to race because uh, it's been too long. I think it's the, the first time that I don't race for too long. So I can't wait to, to make the first race and, uh, of course, to, to meet my team because uh, I'm really happy to be with the Moto Corsa Ducati and uh, I'm looking forward to, to jump again in the bike. Yeah, we're looking forward to it as well. Let's bring in our second rider then. Uh, I'm dialing in from central London and uh, Sylvan Barrier is uh, dialing in from Henley upon Thames, which is about uh, half an hour's drive from where I am. Looks like he's relaxing in the garden. Sylvan, good evening. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. How's, uh, how's life in the lockdown, of course? Uh, recently became a father, so I imagine you've not had too much time to rest. No, not really much time, but uh, really lovely to spend time with the family. And uh, yeah, it's really shame how the situation is going on. But uh, yeah, we just need to wait and, and see what's going on. Absolutely. And I'm sure Sylvan, like everybody joining us tonight, is ready for some fun and games in this World Superbike uh, Ducati live show. Our third rider then uh, is uh, Leon Camier, who is riding for the Barney Racing Team. And Leon, are you there? Morning, afternoon, even. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was wishing that you were going to join like you did when we did a rehearsal. You had some serious facial hair that put me to shame. You've had a shave, mate. How are you? Yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit embarrassing after a while, but yeah, no, all good. All good, thanks. You? Yeah, very well. Very well. Thanks for joining us. And how's lockdown uh, been for you as well? Obviously, lots of time to relax uh, uh, with your better half and, of course, little Kai as well, who's uh, toddling around, I've seen, uh, on social media. Yeah, he's, he's keeping us busy for sure. He's causing massive carnage already so yeah it's been it's been not not that bad to be honest for me it's been ideal uh, with the shoulder to have some time for recovery and um, i managed to do a lot of cycling on the on the turbo trainer and yeah sort of stay fit and healthy so yeah it's been it's been not bad for me but yeah looking forward to getting back on a bike again for sure absolutely well you mentioned carnage and i'm sure that our next rider is going to bring plenty of carnage to this evening's show from Italy. Please welcome uh, Michael Ruben Rinaldi. Yeah. Ciao, Michael. Come on, Stai. Is he there? I told you he started the games already, hasn't he? Michael Ruben Rinaldi, <laughs> are you there? <laughs> He's done one, hasn't he? He's <laughs> legged it before we've even got started. Right, let's move <laughs> on then and uh, move to the Aruba IT Ducati team. Dialing in from California, Scott Redding, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Hello. I made it. That's a start. How are you guys? Nicely, you good? Nice to see you, mate. Of course, dialing in from across the pond. Uh, how is uh, how is lockdown in California? Pretty good. It's not uh, too strict over here. Been able to go out and do a lot of training, which is which has been nice. And I see Michael is maybe joining. So yep. we'll I'll talk let you to Michael uh, get back to him. 
Yeah, we'll talk to Michael in a second, Scott. Uh, obviously, you've been doing a lot of cycling as well. I've seen a load of uh, your social media and uh, regularly doing sort of 100Ks a day. So <laughs> fit as a butcher's dog for when we go racing again. Yeah, it's been nice. It's been nice to have a bit of routine in my life that I haven't really had. So I've just been focusing on losing some weight, which has been really successful and kind of looking to having that advantage when we get back on the racetrack again. Good stuff. Uh, thanks, Scott. We'll come back to you in a second. As you can see, ladies and gents, uh, Michael Rubin Rinaldi uh, is back. Welcome back, uh, Michael. What happened there? You lost the front, bit of a high side. You've decided to uh, to come back to us. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I have uh, the, the site has crashed, so I had to join again. No, no problem. Excuses. And just... excuses. <laughs> explain to us where you're where, where are you michael looks like you've got a lot of uh, memorabilia behind you where, whereabouts in your house are you yeah i'm in my home in my hometown i really have to be to be here uh, the things uh, are going better uh, now we are everybody talking and uh, ready to to back soon so i'm really happy to to talk with you guys we're glad that you're here. And let's move on then to our final rider joining us for this Ducati World SBK live show, the very first live show coming from, uh, well, it looks like he's in his garage, Chaz Davies. Uh, hi, Chaz. How are you? Ciao, Michael. Good evening. Yeah, I'm really good. Thanks. Um, not too bad, obviously, in the same situation like everybody else, but um, happy to be seeing these faces again, or most of them. Um, and yeah, just uh, looking forward to the day when we're uh, we're all seeing each other for uh, for real and not through a computer screen yeah obviously uh, different riders uh, taking different vantage points for tonight's uh, show obviously sylvan in the garden michael in his uh, trophy room looks like you're in the garage there Where, whereabouts are you just for the viewers at home you've got a, a few bikes behind you yeah obviously i'm in my garage um and i've got a little gym through there which has um kept me busy during this this time but um now now we're allowed outside again um so that's uh, that's nice as a, a welcome change to get back outside. Um, but yeah, just uh, been spending a lot of time in here. Actually, I've got a little drum kit set up here, uh, which my wife's not too happy about. But um, yeah, just trying to stay busy. Well, we look forward to uh, hearing the drums on the paddock show uh, when we get back uh, to racing. <laughs> uh, let's explain. And if you are just joining us, my name is Michael Hill, and I'm joined by the six riders that represent uh, Ducati in the 2020 FIM Superbike World Championship, which, of course, is uh, sponsored by Motul. If you are just joining us, uh, we're going to have lots of fun and games, lots of interactive chats uh, with the guys. You may have seen some messages as well that are already coming up on the bottom of the screen from people that are tuned in around the world. Uh, hi, Patricia Campbell. Uh, clearly a Chaz uh, Davies uh, fan there. Lots of love hearts uh, for Chaz. Uh, during the show, we'll also be joined by a number of special guests. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome one of those into the uh, conversation right now. He's one that our six riders uh, know very, very well indeed. And for fans of World Superbike and of MotoGP, I'm sure he is a familiar face. Please welcome to this World SBK Ducati live show, Ducati Corsa Sporting Director, my good friend, Mr. Paolo Ciabatti. Ciao, Paolo. Come stai? Tutto bene? Tutto bene, Michael. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, I hope all the Superbike and Ducati fans will enjoy this show on the social media platforms. Yeah, of course. Uh, we've had lots and lots of fan questions. Uh, one question from me, though, Paolo, just to kick us off. It seems like forever that we were at Phillip Island in Australia for the opening round of the World Championship. It was a great weekend, uh, great racing. Um, I'm sure you'll agree on behalf of Ducati and all of your riders. What a fantastic start to the 2020 season World Superbike gave us. Yes, you're right, Michael. I watch races from home uh, here in, in Torino, actually. And uh, it was a fantastic beginning of, of the championship. I think uh, more than ever this year, we have uh, very competitive bikes, very competitive riders. And uh, the first three races we could uh, we could see in Phillip Island, they were just fantastic. So much adrenaline, so much overtaking, so much drama. And uh, so it was a great beginning of the championship, unfortunately. Uh, then we had to stop due to this virus. Let's hope that uh, we can start again maybe sometimes uh, end of July, early August. This is what we hear at the moment. But uh, for sure, the 2020 season was and is hopefully super promising in terms of, of the show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely agree. Um, now, obviously, six riders are representing Ducati this year, all of them 
fantastic riders, very different characters, a lot of them. So, Paolo, uh, I've got to ask you, who's your favorite? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a famous question, but there's no answer. They are all my favorite riders. And, and by the way, I know all of them since uh, many years. Uh, so, you know, uh, any rider on Ducati is a special rider uh, for us. And uh, we always do the best we can in order to support them. Obviously, uh, the expectations are, are different because uh, from uh, Chaz and Scott, we expect they will be uh, title contenders. I think uh, Rube, uh, Michael, is uh, on his uh, third year in uh, World Superbike on, on Ducati, so we expect him, even though he's in a new team, to consolidate. Uh, Leon, I mean, Leon, I think we met when he was very, very young. <laughs> and uh, do you remember Leon with Moriwaki? And yeah. so, long time ago. <laughs> but uh, for sure, he's in a very competitive team. Unfortunately, uh, he had not the chance to ride the bike in Phillip Island because of uh, still injured from that crash. But uh, I'm pretty sure we can expect great things from him and also from Tati. Tati, I know him since a long time. We, I know his family. We meet each other also in Argentina. So for sure, the Motocorsa team is entering uh, World Superbikes uh, this year. But it's uh, Lorenzo Mauri as a great team. is a lot of passion and also very, very um, technical, uh, uh, very strong technically. So I expect also them to be good. And then it's... it's uh, Sylvain with the Briggs Racing Team. They did a few outings uh, at the end of last season. Um, they have obviously to learn a little bit more because the team is quite new in World Superbikes. But, you know, I expect uh, really that uh, with the Panigale V4, who is a fantastic bike, which is a fantastic bike, uh, they can all get uh, good results this year. Yeah, absolutely uh, agree. Now, obviously, Paolo, it's been a really difficult few months for all of us, whether you're a, a presenter like me, whether you're a rider, whether you're part of a team, for the fans, and also for Ducati. Let's talk about uh, the manufacturer. Last year, yeah. the Ducati V4 Panigale was sensational uh, in the hands of uh, all of the riders uh, in, in the World Superbike Championship and was one of possibly uh, the most popular superbikes to be released into the market, uh, selling thousands of units around the world. And it seems that even through this pandemic, the love for Ducati and the V4 Panigale stays strong. Yeah, as you said, uh, the Panigale V4 uh, was the best-selling uh, uh, superbike worldwide uh, in 2018 and in 2019. So obviously a great success for the production bike and also a very good uh, uh, season last year in the, its first year in uh, World Superbike Racing. So. We expect with some refinements and improvements that we made to the bike for this season to be even stronger. And obviously, you know, the situation has been difficult. Ducati has been uh, closed uh, from the 13th of March until two weeks ago. So we could not actually produce any bikes during uh, the peak season for, for sales. And this has unfortunately affected uh, uh, the company, but now we resume resume production full steam, even though all the <clears throat> employees are working from home, but all the workers and the engineers who work on the development of the bikes for the future are uh, actively in Borgo Panigale. And so we expect uh, not only uh, racing to resume soon, but also the volumes of sales that we were used to do to resume, uh, because obviously as a motorcycle manufacturer, we need to sell bikes. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Paolo, I'm going to ask you just to stay with us just for a few more moments, uh, because uh, we're going to try now uh, a video link, uh, if possible. Uh, and I'd like to welcome to the show with a very special message, the World Superbike Executive Director, Mr. Gregorio Lavia. I'm not sure if anybody can hear Gregorio. Well, he looks good. <laughs> okay, so uh, with a slight technical problem there, what I can tell you is that uh, Gregorio was saying uh, that it's nice to see all of you uh, here, of course, including Paolo Ciabatti, and uh, he hopes to, uh, to see all of us uh, back in the paddock uh, very, very soon. Uh, obviously, looking ahead, Paolo, uh, to when we get back to racing, what are you personally looking for from the six Ducati riders? Well, as I explained before, I think uh, the Panigale before showed last year to be really competitive, but it was its uh, 
few years. So obviously we did a lot of improvements and refinements based on the experience of 2019. So I think uh, it's obviously a winning machine. Having said so, we could see that uh, the Kawasaki is still very competitive, the Yamaha, the Yamaha very competitive this year. And uh, for sure, Honda will also uh, show some great potential. So it's full factory team for the first time since many years in World Superbikes. And uh, then we have, you know, uh, BMW. So, you know, I expect uh, very close racing and I expect uh, our six riders to do their best because uh, I know they are all super competitive. Absolutely. And finally, uh, Paolo, of course, we are conducting this evening's World SBK Ducati show live in English. Uh, maybe just to finish, before we uh, let you go uh, and watch the rest of the show uh, in the comfort of your own home, maybe some words in Italian for the Ducatisti that are watching. <laughs> Buonasera a tutti, spero che vi stiate divertendo per questa simpatica iniziativa. Vorremmo tutti poterci vedere in pista e poter finalmente tornare a correre perché è quello che ci piace, è quello che cerchiamo di fare il nostro meglio. In questo momento la situazione è difficile un po' in tutto il mondo, ci vuole pazienza ma torneremo a correre e a darvi tante emozioni. Quindi continuate a supportarci e a seguirvi e noi cercheremo di darvi un po' di gioia appena possibile. Grazie mille, Paolo. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Paolo Ciabatti, and we hope to see you very, very soon. Ciao, Paolo. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Paolo. Ciao. So the ciao. first of our ciao. guests uh, comes and goes. And uh, again, guys, you may have seen some messages coming through. Uh, this uh, next part of the show uh, is where we're going to get a little bit uh, of the fun and games uh, started. Each of the riders have been asked to uh, get together a whiteboard or some paper and a pen. Now, just as a bit of a warm up, guys. This first uh, quiz or this first part of the, uh, the, the quiz and the competition doesn't need you to write anything down. Uh, it's particularly <coughs> aimed at Mr. Chaz Davies. Uh, as you know, I'm responsible for, for looking at some of the social media uh, and, and some of the things that go into the World Superbike program. So we've been looking through all of your social media, and I'm sure that when uh, this lockdown is over, there's going to be a big party. And what we would like to know, Chaz, is are we invited to something like this? <laughs> well, what's, what's that all about? That's some, some serious uh, luck you've got there, mate. What's going on there? Uh, if you look look closely, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, okay. If you look closely, you'll also see a certain Leon Camia uh, in one of them cow suits. The one on the right, actually, <laughs> close to me. That's that's Leon right there uh, behind me. <laughs> wow. And you two are neighbours, right, guys? You're actually, uh, you actually live quite close together? We live very close together, yeah. I can um, literally throw a stone at his house and have thrown a stone at his house. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, those are the sort of parties we look forward to. Uh, and Scott, you're invited. You two, oh. Sylvan, Leandro, Michael. Um, are you sure to join? You've got to, bring a, you've got to bring a costume. Yeah, I won't join the party. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds that, good. That's just a normal night round here in Andorra. Right? <laughs> that's how we roll: barbecue and get dressed up. Yeah, yeah normal... nothing happens over there. That's why you've all got to like self entertain each other. <laughs> Can I just get this right, uh, Leon Camia? A standard night in Andorra is you dressing up as a cow and going across to Chaz's for a party. Yep. 100%. Okay. Okay. That's, so how we, that's how we roll. That's how we rolls. That's how we rolls. Right. OK, we are now going to show a picture on the screen in a second. And the question, I need all of you to get your pens and write the answer down and then we'll see your answers and then we'll have a look and see who gets it right. So the question, uh, guys, is this. What animal does Sylvain Barrier want as a pet more than anything else in the world? So let me just uh, repeat the question. What animal does Sylvain Barrier want as a pet more than any other animal in the world. Sylvan, you write the answer down as well because we will come and get an answer from you in a second. So let's start with Chaz Davies. Just hold up your piece of paper or call out uh, uh, what you've written. What do you think the answer is? Um, gerbil. <laughs> A gerbil, okay. Leon Cavier, <laughs> what's your answer? I've got llama. A llama, okay, okay. Uh, who really. doesn't want a llama? <laughs> who doesn't want a llama, indeed? Fair point, um, fair point. What? What is that? Well, I thought it's either it could be a dog or a horse. So <laughs> I thought if I drew something, I got like okay. a dog or a horse. 50, or a donkey. 
<laughs> okay, Le uh, Leandro Mercado, let's come to you. What have we got from you, Leandro? Oh, oh. Leandro, have you got an answer for us? Bull, maybe for... Ah, a bull, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, what about you, Michael Ruben Rinaldi? Let's have a look at your answer. And have we lost Michael again? He did hold Maybe a, a bird, I don't know. A, a bird, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's He's come across there. Then. Let's come across then to Sylvan, uh, Sylvan Barrier. Before we reveal the picture, Sil oh, too late, there we go. Uh, Sylvan Barrier, it's a little kangaroo. So That's I what I say, drew. It's basically hey. the same. You see? The, spot, the likeness is uncanny. The, the likeness, likeness is uncanny. Uh, Sylvan, let's uh, come to Sylvan. So Sylvan, this is a picture obviously taken uh, the last time that you were in Australia. So it's true, yeah. you would really like a little, uh, a little wallaby, a little kangaroo <laughs> as a pet. It would be funny, but uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be too much of a nightmare here. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Absolutely. Well, I can safely say that nobody scored a point. So give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Of course, uh, Sylvan Barrier this year is riding for the Bricks Performance Ducati team. Uh, we're delighted that they're in, in the championship. And here is a message from Barry Baxter, the team owner. That's interesting. Yeah. And I promise you, Barry is going to come with a nice message any second now. It's worth the wait, I promise. There we go. There it is. And again, we seem to be having some audio issues. What's yeah. he saying, Michael? Well, my lip reading uh, skills are quite good. So he's basically saying, uh, I'm joining you from the garden. I'm delighted that uh, Sylvan is part of uh, World Superbike this year, part of uh, the Ducati family. And uh, he hopes that we all have a fantastic Ducati World Superbike live show and uh, hopes that we get our technical uh, issues fixed uh, as we go through the rest of the show. So thanks for that, uh, Barry. Right, get your whiteboards and your papers ready again, please, guys, because it's time for another question. And this question is quite simply this. If Scott Redding was a superhero, what superhero would he be? Useless one. <laughs> and keep it clean, Sylvan. I heard that snigger. Let's uh, remember there are children watching. Right, so uh, Scott, let's come to you first if you've written an answer. What superhero would you be? Let's see if you get this right, because this was taken from your Instagram account. So uh, let's see if you get it right. I think I know what it is. Is it Captain America? Okay, he says Captain America. Leandro Mercado, what do you uh, think? Superman. Superman. Okay. Leon Carrier, what are we going with? He's gone Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Davies, teammate, of course, to Scott. What superhero would Scott Redding be? Rocco Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jazz is right. <laughs> Good Spider answer. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And, uh, of course, Michael Ruben Rinaldi. Let's bring him back in if we can. If he's there. Here he comes. Is he there? Michael, what superhero would, uh, would Scott Redding be? Can you show us your answer, please, Michael? Are Wonderful you talking warm, to me? Man. I don't hear you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm asking you, what, what superhero would uh, Scott Redding be? Uh, Iron Man, I don't know. Iron Man, okay. Let's have a look and see if anybody got the answer correct. What superhero would Scott Redding be? <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. I'll tell you what, Scott, if you hadn't shaved the hair, that would have been a fantastic, uh, a fantastic likeness. But do you remember edit, posting that, that on your social media? I don't actually know. It's a good edit, though. Very good. I look, I look pretty, uh, pretty sprucey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, of course, Scott Redding and Chaz Davies they race for the Aruba IT Racing Team, and here is a video message from their team manager, hopefully with sound, Mr. Serafino Foti. Fuck, he looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and again, we seem to be having a difficulty with the audio. Nice picture behind him, though, isn't it? Very nice uh, <laughs> picture. 
And again, uh, I can tell you, of course, because uh, I have watched the videos earlier, just in case we had any problems in Surafina. He looked fit, huh? He looked fit. <laughs> he did lose quite a lot of weight, huh? I'll leave that for you guys to, to say. But uh, as uh, generally the message from uh, Serafino Foti, of course, ending there with Forza Ducati, uh, saying ciao a tutti. Thank you to all of the Italian fans for joining uh, and for all of the fans of Ducati uh, around the world. Uh, hoping that everyone is staying safe, looking forward to getting back on track, where he hopes that Scott Redding and Kaz Davies in particular will be at the forefront of racing in the World Superbike Championship. Right then, it's time for another question. And uh, this one uh, is, uh, you don't need to write it down. You don't need uh, any, any markers. This is particularly for our Argentinian friend, Leandro Mercado. And uh, one of the fans was looking through your social media and found this picture. Let's just show you the picture first of all. And here it comes. Oh, oh diving. Nice. And uh, Tati, yeah. obviously, could you just tell us about that? Where, where was that? And what was the feeling uh, of jumping out of that aeroplane uh, thousands of feet up in the air. Yes, it's really nice. I I do it like two, th three times uh, per year, and I started doing it in 2016. I do it here in Italy, at Ravenna. So it's an amazing experience, and uh, the other line is is crazy because when they open the, the door of the plane, it's crazy to be too high, and then when you jump off the, to the plane, it's uh, it's crazy. So I do it two, three times a year. So really nice. Wow, it's it's definitely something I've wanted to do. I think I might just be a little bit a uh, little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared of heights, so that might not be the uh, the thing to do. <laughs> Sylvan's making some nice little uh, gestures there. Sylvan Barry, not not something you would fancy. You don't fancy jumping out of a plane? Already done. Oh, you did already? Yeah. Where did you where did you uh, skydive? Excited, in, in, France, in France, in Gap, in France. Really nice. I really like it. Good stuff. Well, maybe we can sort out a, a Ducati. We'll get everyone together, do like a, a group Ducati jump. Uh, of course, uh, Lorenzo Mauri is the team owner of the Motocorsa Ducati team, and uh, he has a message for us. Uh, let's uh, see whether we can hear him. Lorenzo, are you there? No. No. No, he's not. So, of course, I can tell you that this was uh, an Italian message, which we had a translation for. Lorenzo basically saying that the red light switch off is approaching for all MotoGP and Superbike Ducati riders. And uh, he says, I will be rooting for all the Ducati riders, but in particular, uh, my rider, Tati Mercado, who I am delighted to work with. I will see you all on the track soon. Full gas, Forza Ducati. So uh, that was the uh, English translation uh, of the message that was sent in. Uh, by Lorenzo Maori. Now, guys, uh, we're going to uh, turn our uh, dream into a bit of a nightmare because uh, this is uh, quite quite a strange picture. Uh, let's just put this picture up on the screen, if we can, for the viewers watching the show at home. And have you ever seen, ladies and gentlemen watching, uh, this lone figure on the beach? Michael Ruben Rinaldi, friendless, <laughs> with not a single person around him, self-isolating on the beach. Michael, you're amongst friends uh, here, so hopefully tonight you're feeling a little bit of the Ducati love, that you're not on your own anymore. You've got us all with you. Uh, just you talk look to like you put this. some weight on, mate. You're looking a bit big. What's going on? <laughs> so, Michael, wh wh when was this taken? Wh what was going on? This uh, peak is old. It's quite old. I hope so. Yeah, Scott's saying there, Michael, that you look a bit this chubby. Was, uh, a bit. I have Michael. a audio problem. I can't hear you. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, we, we yeah. can hear you, Michael. We can hear you. Yeah, but I don't understand the question. Can you repeat, please? Uh, yeah, the, the question was, uh, Scott is saying that in the photograph, you look a little bit fatter, uh, as if you were, you were maybe eating a lot of food <laughs> in the lockdown. No, because uh, I was uh, t too big. I was training <laughs> a lot. So it looked like I, I was fat, but I, I wasn't. <laughs> so much pasta. <laughs> okay, well there you go. Uh, but now Michael. Scott is bigger. Pasta. Skinny. <laughs> I think everyone's just jumping on and attacking Michael Rubin Rinaldi. Why not? Why not? Lose some weight, Michael. Get ready for when we go racing again. Of course, uh, Michael Rubin Rinaldi races for the Go Eleven. Uh, Ducati team and we have a video message from their uh, team manager Dennis Sicchetti and uh, let's see if we can hear him. Yes. 
don't think we can hear him. So uh, let's just give you a translation of what uh, team manager Dennis said. A load of trophies behind him, of course. Dennis, a former racer himself. Uh, and Dennis Sacchetti saying, greetings to all Ducati riders around the world. I know it's difficult at the moment to stay focused on the goal, but I know we'll be starting again soon. And the stronger ones will make the difference as always. Come on, guys. Full gas. Let's go racing again. So that's a nice little message there, Michael, from your team manager. Now then, here is another question uh, for those eagle-eyed uh, riders that have been watching the screen. You may have just uh, been given the answer, but we'll pretend that we didn't see that and we'll move on. Uh, this is aimed at Leon Camier. Leon, uh, a few years back, you did some training uh, on track with a pretty famous Formula One driver. Uh, let's just have a quick run around uh, the riders there. Who do you think it was? Shaz? Who, who was he talking to? Yeah, who was he talking to? <laughs> I, I didn't actually see. I, I think it was Lewis Who's Hamilton. Hamilton. He says Hamilton. Scott, who was it? I ain't got a clue. No <laughs> okay, idea. Michael, Michael Ruben Rinaldi. Which Formula One driver did Leon Cambia give some lessons to? He can't, still can't. Who's he Hamilton? doesn't have a clue what's going on, does he? Ah, oh, bless him. Okay, Leandro Mercado. Uh, who, who, was, uh, who was Leon uh, Cambia talking to, uh, Formula One wise? Uh, Hamilton. I... <laughs> he says Hamilton. Still, Van? Yeah. If you're still with us, what do you think? Yeah, um, Hamilton. Oh. Hamilton as well. There you go. Some well, great, uh, cool <laughs> some great <laughs> body big position. Big handful there. of throttle. <laughs> <laughs> some great body position there, Leon. Uh, do you remember talking to uh, to Lewis? How, how was it to uh, to work with him and, and share the track with him? Yeah, he was. Uh, he was actually a really nice. Nice bloke, you know. There was as soon as the cameras were around, it was all a little bit different. But when uh, when it was me and him just going out on track, riding around, he was really really nice guy, and uh, he was like a big kid, just so excited to get on the bike and surprisingly really fast, really fast. Like not 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 like our sort of level, or could be sort of racing at, at British or World Championship level. But considering he you know he rides on the road, he got on the bike and was was quick straight away. So yeah, it was pretty impressive for sure. Great stuff. Well, obviously, Leon, you're riding for the Barney Racing Team this year. We have a video message from your team owner, uh, Mr. Marco Barnabo. I've got a translation ready just in case we can't hear him. But let's have a look if we can hear him. Marco Barnabo, are you there? Well, he is there with uh, some great pictures uh, behind him. Those watching at home, you may remember and may recognize uh, some of those uh, famous riders that have ridden for the Barney Racing Team over the years. But the message from Marco is this. Uh, I want to say a special hello to my rider, Leon Camia, and to all Ducati riders, but especially to all Ducati fans that are watching this live show. I'm sure and confident that we will be back on track soon to do our job, which is to race, entertain the fans, and above all, to make sure that Ducati wins. Grazie mille, ciao. So that was from uh, Marco Barnabo. And of course, uh, Leon Camia will be representing them uh, whence uh, we get racing again. Right then, that's, we are approaching. I, th I thought I was going to get a message about the sack or something, but that's good, so good. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, obviously the volume was down, so he may well have said that. So, uh, you know, I'll take 15% of you staying on until the next round. How does that sound? Fair enough. Sounds fair <laughs> enough go. to me. That's, that's the easiest uh, 23,000 euros I've made. Thanks, Leon. <laughs> 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 right then, just to finish off with guys, we're going to have a quick fire knockout quiz to find out which one of you knows the most about Ducati in World Superbike. This, of course, now is time for Ducati trivia. So the way this is going to work, we're going to pair you up and we're going to ask you a question. Uh, you need to write the answer down, hold the answer up and show us. And uh, whichever one of you gets it right first goes through to the final. I'll so leave. First. I'll leave. <laughs> Michael, okay. I changed I changed the location because I hadn't uh, had the connection, so I don't have the board now. You don't have the I'm board sorry. now. Oh, okay, well, uh, you're, you're disqualified then. You're disqualified, but uh, you can shout the okay. answer out. You can shout the answer out. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So the first pairing, the first pairing are Leon Camia versus Chaz Davies. Oh, you're mm. joking me. <laughs> okay. That's not fair, is it? Straight off. OK, well, I, I, I did actually have a different pairing, but when I saw that picture of you dressed as a cow with Chaz, I thought, hey, this is, this is just too much to miss. So we'll, we'll, we'll pair you off. The question is this. Now, obviously, if you get it bang on the nose, fantastic. Uh, if, you get, if you don't get it right, it's whoever is the closest 
to the answer. We'll go through to the final. So the question is this. How many pole positions do Ducati have in World Superbike from the very first race in 1998 to now, including Phillip Island in Australia? Well, all I know is I definitely haven't contributed to many of them. <laughs> so are we going to write it down or are we going to have a guess? What do you reckon, Chaz? Give us a number. How many pole positions do Ducati have? And Leon, write the answer down as well, if you can. Hold on. I'm trying to um, do some maths right now. Don't tell me for one second that you're sat there physically counting through every single Ducati rider since 1988 because that is a barefaced lie on national TV. I need a calculator. Hold on. <laughs> right, um, come on. Have we I'm got an answer? Say 130. Okay, so Chaz Davies says 130. Leon Camier, I need an answer. How many pole positions cool. have Ducati got? Is it more or less than 130? What's your answer, please? Got to push you for we are pushed on time, so I do need an answer. Ah, I'm going less. I'm going less, 120. No, I'm more, 140. Oh, right, you need, to, need a decision. Are you going higher or lower? Wait, the answer's already come up. You did go higher. The answer is 181 pole positions, and that means that, Leon Camier, you are in the final. Congratulations. <laughs> Obviously, I knew better, didn't I? Yeah, okay, the next pairing then. Michael Ruben Rinaldi versus Leandro Mercado. I'm ready. He's, oh God, this could be fun, couldn't it? Right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Who was the first rider to win the World Superbike Championship for Ducati? Who was Ooh. the first rider to win the World Superbike Championship for Ducati? I write it down. I write it down. Uh, if, yeah, write it down if you've got a board. Uh, I know. I okay, try so... Fogarty, but I, I don't think he's Fogarty. Okay, so Rinaldi says Fogarty. And Leandro Mercado for a place in the final. What's your answer, please? Raymond Roche is oh. correct. 1990. <laughs> Congratulations, Patty. <laughs> so, uh, Leandro Mercado. I have Wikipedia here. Uh, I know, I know, I know, Tati. No, the... no, I, no. <laughs> I know the history. Oh, super right. <laughs> Absolutely. He pays attention on the Paddock Show. So Leon Cami is in the final, and so too is Tati Mercado. Right then, on to our final pairing. And our final pairing is this. It is, of course, Scott Redding and Sylvain Barrier fighting it out for the final place in the, uh, the final. So the question, boys, is this. Make sure you write your answers down. How many rider championships? has Ducati won in World Superbike. So not manufacturer titles, rider titles. I appreciate that uh, they may have won more uh, as, uh, as a manufacturer, but individual riders riding a Ducati, how many times has Ducati won the World Superbike Championship in the riders' classification? I have not a clue what that means. What do you mean by that? How, how many Ducati riders, how many times has a Ducati rider won the World Superbike Championship. With a Ducati, I guess. With a Ducati, yeah. How many times has a Ducati rider won the World Superbike Championship? Write the answer down, boys. I'm not a clue what's going on, but I'll just write some of down. So could it be like the same rider this time? It could be the same rider, yep, yeah, yeah. We're talking about how many titles. So if one rider's won twice, that would be two. As an example, oh, right. yeah. Mm. Oh, Sylvan looks like he's taking it very, very seriously indeed. Sylvan, do we have an answer? He says nineteen. Scott, ready? Do we have an answer? He says twelve. Well, I can tell you that you're both wrong, but I can tell you that one of you is very, very close to the answer. The correct answer is fourteen, which means that Scott Redding, you're oh. in the final. So Scott Redding goes through to guess. the final. A very, very good effort, Sylvan. I will just point out that from a manufacturer's point of view, Ducati have won 17 titles. So a good effort there, uh, Sylvan. So let's bring our finalists up onto the screen, if we can. Leon Camier, uh, Leandro Mercado and Scott Redding. And we'll just wait for Tati to join us. 
So the way this is going to work then, to find out our <coughs> champion of champions, I am going to ask you the question. And very, very simply, whichever one of you gives us the answer first is the winner. You can shout it, you can scream it, you can write it down. Here we go then. So for the World Superbike Live, who was the last rider to win the World Superbike Championship for Ducati? Bayless. Check out. Check and the correct Check answer is Carlos Check Checker, out. and the winner is Leandro Mercado. And what the hell? Looks like he doesn't have a clue what the hell just happened. <laughs> Technical issue, I couldn't hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations uh, there to, uh, to Leandro. Just a little bit of fun there to, uh, to finish off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all of the riders now are going to be writing down a little message uh, for you because we are coming up to the end of this very first World Superbike Live. So we're just going to give the riders a chance just to write down a little message and uh, once I finish concluding uh, this uh, first live show, they're going to put their messages on the screen. As I said, I've been Michael Hill. It's been my absolute privilege and pleasure to host this first Ducati Live experience uh, with these great, great riders. All of them uh, are class as good friends, and I can't wait to see all of them back on track and back racing when the, uh, this curfew is lifted. So on behalf of Ducati, on behalf of all of the teams and all of the riders, thank you for watching. And from the riders, one, two, three, thank you and good night. Where's mine? Oh, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Michael, yeah? <laughs> bye, bye bye. Soon. Ciao. 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 Thank you. See you later, boys. See, See you on the track. Ciao, mate. Yeah. Ciao. Cycling.